<laughs> Nottingham boxer Carl Froch has been in hospital on the eve of his world title fight in Atlantic City. He was treated for what he says was a minor ear complaint. Froch says nothing will stop him beating 42-year-old Glenn Johnson to retain his crown and make it to the final of the Super 6 Boxing Classic. Mark Shardlow reports from the United States. This is Atlantic City's famous boardwalk. Ocean on one side, casinos on the other. But Carl Froch has spent three hours at another landmark, the Atlantic City Hospital. Hospital trips before fights are nothing new for Carl Froch. It almost seems part of his build-up. I had a bit of a block to left eardrum from, um, from a couple of punches I took. I think a bit of wax was pushed against the eardrum, so I've had that cleaned out today and um, I, feel, I feel unblocked. He spent the rest of the afternoon finding ways to switch off. I'm not thinking too much about the fight. Taking in the surroundings a little bit. Atlantic City is a holiday town. There are plenty of distractions, but Froch is focused on retaining the world title. It's this red eye, it's 85 degrees, and um, start to drain you, start to feel hot and bothered and irritated. So it's nice to um, catch a bit of the sea breeze, like I say, but you don't want to be in the sun too long, because the sun drains you. Carl Froch! The arrival in town of his family and his model girlfriend, Rachel, is also an occasion. They're used to having to make some noise with so many of his fights overseas. I'm at the top of my game, I'm world champion. I'm looking at now getting my legacy secured and defending this world title, getting to the Super 6 final, winning that, and then having two, three, maybe four more fights. Atlantic City is second only to Las Vegas as a casino town, and you'd find few here who'd gamble against anything other than a Carl Froch win. Mark Shardlow, East Midlands Today, Atlantic City. And don't forget the fight takes place in the early hours of Sunday morning. Plenty more build-up to come here and on BBC Radio Nottingham. Now former world champion Barry McGuigan is backing Froch to finally get the exposure he deserves. McGuigan was in Nottingham this afternoon signing copies of his autobiography. And if you want an idea of how Carl struggled for recognition, just compare him to Barry here. He had 20 million people tuning in to watch his title win back in 1985. He has this sort of appeal, I think, to go outside of uh, boxing and into the, into the homes of the casual observers of boxing. I really believe that. And he's a lovely guy, and he's bright and sharp and good looking, and uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty remarkable fella coming through all those tough fights, and he hasn't a mark on him. But uh, he's got a tough one on Saturday. I really hope for his sake that he gets the type of recognition he deserves, and uh, long may it continue.